And remarkably, nobody's really seemed to care other than having his pants down and now back up. Um, so an intoxicated male with pants. Yeah, that's the description from all three callers. Cleaned by... Well, never mind. I believe I'll be out with the mail just south of Augusta, Monroe. You want 13 or...? If you have some drift, I'm just going to chat with him for a minute. Very good. Sarah, close you in town, Monroe and Augusta. Three oh six. Okay. How you doing? Spokane okay, Police Department. Can I talk to you about it? Could you have a seat over there on the curb for me, sir? I'm Sergeant Hartman with the police department. Just so you know, you're being audio and video recorded. We've had a couple calls about you kind of walking out in the traffic and your pants falling down and stuff like that. Can uh, I, 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 I know, I know the crosswalk. I, cross I, I just, uh, um, I just want to let you know I'm trying to find my old Okay, okay. What, what's your first name, sir? Um, these people here are care for me also. Okay, what, what's your name, sir? John. John? John, yeah. John, what's your last name? Uh, Bull. B-O-H-L. I'll check, can you take, check for a John Bull, B-O-H-L, a white male, probably late 30s. John, so, do you have any mental health issues? Are you a client with mental health or anything? I'm not trying to offend you, but... Do you have any sort of diagnosis that you struggle with? Are you on any drugs or any alcohol today or anything like that? Could you chat with her? Live with the lady in the car. Could you chat with her for a sec? See what she saw. So, like I said, we have people calling, but. Basically, what it sounds like you basically go up there at Monroe and Boone, basically with your your pants falling down, and then oh, they had another complaint of basically walking in traffic and obstructing cars and stuff like that. Okay, hang on one second, sir. the DOB. And status zero. So John, what's your date of birth, sir? Didn't catch the very last portion there. John, where do you where do you live these days? Uh, I, uh, I I live at I, I live at the Carlisle Boardroom. I have room room uh, six oh eight. Uh, yeah, mine. Yeah, mine is. Uh, 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 so you live at the Carlisle? Yeah. Do you have like a guardian or a protectee, somebody that gives you money each month and helps helps you out? John, I'm having a hard time hearing you over the traffic. If you just speak up just a little bit. I'm just going to step over here so I can hear you better. You're not you're not in trouble or anything. My my mom would be wishing for me to to have. So what are you out? What are you heading this direction for? Where are you, where are you headed to now? Well, I I I was walking to old school uh, friends. Uh, old school. Uh, I wanted to check out an old school area. Uh, you walk into old school? Back with the To where again? To uh, Jeff O'Connor. I'm not sure if I understand why that is. Well, I like I I've been. Around the scene. Okay. Are you 
You feel you feeling okay today? You feeling like is this you feeling normal? Yeah, I, I feel normal. I just uh, I feel great today. I want I want to be and 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 have better weight. Well, you talk soft. That's you're hard to hear. Hang on a second there, John. What she? Uh, she's driving by and saw him underneath the vehicle. Stopped the vehicle on the side of the road there by the Y with the stand sign. Looked like he was passed out. So a couple guys went over and helped him get up out of the. He no. pulled his pants up and he was on his way. And then so she decided she's gonna come back home. And as she was coming around the corner, he stepped, kind of stepped out in front of her, scared the shit out of her. So she stopped. But other than that, that nothing. Okay. I asked her what she thought he was doing underneath the car, and she said he looked like he was just so, John, one more time. Can you speak? And just so I can, hear, you can even stand up and talk to me. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Where, you live at the Carlisle. Yeah, I, I you, you're, the Carlisle. You're, you're headed up north, walking this way on Monroe because you're going where? I, 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 I just want, I just want to find old, uh, old, old school friends of mine. You want to go by an old school friend's house? What street does uh, he or she live on? Uh, uh, Okay. So my a couple questions. Yeah. I'm sorry for interrupting yeah. you. So a couple questions here. You don't. You know, are you diabetic or have any other medical conditions that uh, that are concerning? No. You're not feeling like hurting yourself or doing any harm to yourself. Do you do you struggle with any sort of mental illnesses? Have you ever been diagnosed with anything like that? You say a little bit louder. I gotta have functioning with uh, every pub and, and, and uh, we're not functioning. Yeah. Uh, I just, I wanna make it, I just, I got a lot of pride and feel good about it. Okay. Question for you. Since you, do you, do you have a hard time subscribing where you're headed? And I'm not telling you what you have to do. Do you think it might be a better idea to head back to your room at the Carlisle? Okay, I'm not saying you have to do it, but we've had a couple calls. Somebody found you over there in the bushes with your pants down. I don't know if you, have, I don't know if you were sleeping or what have you. And, and then another lady called in where you walked in front of her. Are you gonna be okay walking home? Yeah. I'm not gonna have any more calls about you. Yeah. Okay, because I, I'd much rather you go home and enjoy your day. I'd much rather not have to arrest you for interfering with traffic or anything like that. And uh, you, and you can just go on with your day, and I can go on with my business. Is that fair? Okay, so are you going to head back to your room now? And you know how to get there? So basically back this way on Monroe, across the, the bridge? Okay, John. Hey, I, it's nice to meet you. I appreciate your time. Okay. <laughs> you were mumbling in half of us. Most of it was mumbling. Yeah. So I was like, am I going deaf? I can try to eat in a few days. That's probably the farthest one. Right. My blood sugar needs. Right. How you see Hey, maybe a little intoxicated, but yeah, nothing I can force the issue with. So, thank you, sir. I think you realize the on the No. Okay. At this point, he looks like he's walking on the sidewalk. He's not having any troubles going down the sidewalk, and he says he's going back home to the Carlisle. He'll be going off camera.